Hello, Angular viewers. Ben and Max here coming at you from Ionic HQ in the USA. Also, hello, Igor. Uh, we wanted to quickly just say hello to everyone who came out for the last Angular Beers meetup. This is awesome. You guys are awesome. And we wanted to talk a little bit about what we have going on with Ionic 2, which is very, very soon approaching its final release. Yeah, so rumor has it we'll be dropping the final release of Ionic 2 in the next few weeks. So don't, just a rumor. Just a rumor. Can't confirm or deny. Uh, but I think people are going to love it. We've been heads down, adding tons of new performance improvements, polishing everything, making it production ready. Uh, we added a few new features as well. Uh, our new app scripts build chain has error reporting and uh, build reporting baked right in. Awesome. So as you're coding the app, you can you can have your Ionic serve and it'll show you errors as you build the app. So you don't need to go check your console anymore. Everything will be right where you are, which is building your app. Saves a ton of time. So far, people are really, really loving that. Um, I know we're talking about progressive web apps yes, today, so yeah. we've got a really awesome new feature coming to actually host your app as a progressive web app. So one Ionic app can go in the App Store, uh, but it can also go on the mobile web as a progressive web app. And sure. we'll handle all the SSL, we'll handle all the uh, efficient kind of packing and make the app load quickly. So we're super excited yeah, about this. I think people are going to love that. We're, we're obsessed with progressive web apps over here. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for Ionic 2 and... Oh, uh, Super Starter. So oh, yeah. we've got an all new starter project that we're going to try to release with Ionic 2 that comes with more pre-built pages. So a lot of mobile apps kind of do similar things like master detail, uh, login, sign up, um, list of cards, basic common UI patterns. We're just going to bake those into the app uh, in, in kind of our best practice kind of way nicely designed so that you can get going and building a lot more quickly. Because our current starters kind of just give you a little layout, but they kind of throw you to the weeds. So uh, this will help you get going a lot more quickly. I think people are going to love it. Cool. Well, we both hope you guys have awesome holidays. Have a great meetup, and we'll see you in 2017.